Kim. Hey, now we turn to a Meteorology Monday report. Have you ever endured hot weather and witnessed lightning flashes? As meteorologist Colin Rogers explains, those are not flashes of your imagination. It's heat lightning. I'm meteorologist Colin Rogers, and on today's segment of Meteorology Monday, we're going to talk about some heat lightning. So why do we see lightning flashes on these dry summer nights? It's not like it's actually storming over us or anything. And if it's so hot, is that what produces the flash? Well, it's actually just lightning that's happening very far away, and it's referred to as heat lightning because it often occurs on hot summer nights. But here's what's actually happening. So when lightning strikes, it takes time for thunder to travel. And in the typical time it takes thunder to travel one mile, it's about five seconds away from that lightning strike that you start to hear it. So at 40 degrees, thunder travels at 747 miles an hour. Now on warmer days, 80 degrees, it can travel faster. So it takes about 4.82 seconds for thunder to travel a mile in cooler weather, whereas at 80 degrees, it takes about 4.64 seconds. Now, if we zoom out, you can see over oh, the span of 10 plus miles, that sound dissipates as it travels outwards. And that's why we get heat lightning, because no thunder is heard, even though that lightning is still striking. So you can see lightning 50, 100 miles away, but that thunder, it only takes about 10 miles away, and all of a sudden that sound dissipates. So, it's not actually heat lightning. It's actually lightning occurring in the distance, but you just don't hear the thunder along with it. Back to